Columbia, Missouri. Home of the Mizzou Tigers, and I never thought a KU guy would be here to drink beer, but we heard that the Flat Branch Pub and Brewery is really good. So, you know what? We let the crimson and blue turn into a little black and gold, and we're gonna see what they offer here because this brewery has been here since 1994. It was the first brewery in Columbia since 1841. So, you know, we're close to the Flat Branch River, and uh, we might as well see what the is flowing inside here as we are in Columbia, Missouri. Over here, it says 75 feet. Columbia, Missouri. Here we go. Oh, yeah, and by the way, you can't go in on that front door entrance, so the, in the main entrance is here on the side, but anyway all right so you know they definitely serve food here so you know this is not just uh beer only you can get any food that you want here as well um you know and so we never come for food though so don't know anything about the food we are here for what is behind these glass windows and that is their beer so i'm excited that you know definitely brewing it right here on site and um First time in Colombia. Don't know anything really about Colombia. And this is our first stop of the day. So first time, first stop. They got quite a few things on tap for us to choose from. And they had a flight. So, you know, excited to give this beer a try. But so far, really liking the uh, vibe here. And we're going to post up back in this little area here and uh, give it a shot. So here we go. Let's go. I like this place. Flat Branch. Yeah. Pub and Brewing, Columbia. I know it. Surrey. Oh. First stop of the day. Nice, nice selection of beer here and an outdoor patio that is just rocking it, man. I, looks really uh, yeah. nice out there. Beautiful day and um, it's, it's hostess seating out there. So we decided that, you know, remember, we don't like to be hosted, hostess seated. We just like to sit where we so, want to yeah. sit. <laughs> so, um, plus, you know, there's kind of people. So, anyway, we, we've got a nice little corner here. Yeah. Uh, very historic uh, building. And uh, like we say, uh, this is the first brewery in Columbia. Uh, opened in 1994. That's a long time yeah. ago, man. That's a long time. And 18, what, 1841. 41. Yep. So, here we go. And what was the brewery then? We don't know, right? No. Just some old. Yeah. But, um looks like they have a lot of great great food it's a nice big uh you know lots of room and uh you know a few tvs here and there uh yeah something else if you if you like spirits um they specialize here in single malt uh si single malt scotches oh, and shit. also small batch uh, bourbons and okay. i mean i i almost i might have to do a shot before i leave i gotta be try one I mean, man a small batch Nothing better than a homemade uh, small match, uh, small batch um, uh, bourbon and scotch. So again, really kind of cool. Yeah. All right. I you want to? So. You, you picked your chili and your pills, so it goes this way. Yes. That's certainly. So not this a, would be a chili. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's try this guy. And he, the guy, did say it's one of their top sellers. We do have their top seller though. The one that people say they come in here for. Oh my god, that's so good. See, I don't know if we should have started with a chili myself, but holy shit. It's, I don't that's probably the hottest chili I've ever had. Oh man. It, it, is it just a chili uh, just what's it called? It's just chili it's it's just called chili pepper. I don't know if I, I say if I should even oh, mess with man. It. I might have to wait on that. Oh. I mean, oh I god, that's good though, man. I, I don't want to ruin my crap. because Let's just go to what their flagship is, because I, one of the questions I always ask the um, the, the bartenders is, is uh, you know, what what's your flagship? What do people come in here? What do you hang your hat on? Yeah. Uh, if if I you know if I were to ask ten people, hey, I was at Flat Branch, Flat Branch. What are they going to tell me they had? I don't think they're brewing the same beer they did in 1994, oh, right? I because he would have been like, we've yeah. been brewing this since 1994. So what so. they what they said, it's called a honey wheat. But we're we're you know in Missouri I know but it is still the wheat belt 
Um, we have know, had lots of wheat beers in Kansas, well, and they were all really good. And, and, and look at Boulevard. I mean, that, that's that's what they hang their hat on is a wheat yeah. beer. So, you know, we're not too far from Kansas City, but um, down I-70 to Columbia, and here is their flagship, the reason people come here. It's the honey wheat. Honey wheat. Mmm. <laughs> The sweetness really? is the one that gets you right away because of that honey. And I think I'm not a fan of Boulevard wheat um, because I just, I, I, just not a fan. This one I could drink. Look at that. Oh. So let's you a, could taste a, the wheat. It's a golden you like could color. I mean, I can see why people come here. And watch the Missouri Tigers lose games. Oh wow, that is a yeah. smooth. Isn't that good, man? And, and just enough, to just just that, just that little hint of, of the uh, honey. Of the honey, it's good, isn't it? It's not bitter. I could see you wearing black and gold with that. Oh yeah. Yep. I wanted to grab this menu here real quick. I wanted to see. You want to look at that chili? What they call it? Green? Oh, it's a green it's chili. It's a green chili, man. Golden Light Body, fresh Anaheim chili fade with a touch of heat. 27, 5.427. And then this honey was a um, 5.625. Bought like a boulevard wheat. Medium body, 50% wheat, slightly sweet. Slightly sweet. That was good though, man. So you're Pilsner. Yeah, man, shit. German, Czech, Czech. Czech Pilsner. Classically brewed Czech style Pilsner. Saz hops with the clean. Ooh, finish. I like the Saz hops. Mm. I never thought I'd ever be in Columbia, Missouri. I kind of like it though. Drinking a Czech Pilsner. We had this burger Holy down shit, here man. that's. Uh, hey man. The, the place opened in 1884, and they've been selling hamburgers for 137 years. What was it? Bo Boucher. Boucher. Like Bo Bobby Boucher. Bobby Boucher. Bobby Boucher's place. <laughs> Boucher. Started it was out good, as a, man. Started out as a billiard, uh, a gentleman-only billiard club. They ch they moved six times, and now they're at this historic location in downtown Columbia, which opened in 1924. And then they started selling ham sandwiches. Ham in sandwiches, man, and pool, right? Like just a bunch of dudes yeah. in there, only dudes. Yeah. They, they bring out this, no this awesome hamburger that's been grilled. And, and it's like just a little piece of wax paper and they just yeah. set it down there. It's really cool. So yeah. kind of kind of neat vibes here for So it. far so good yeah. because that's a damn good pills. All right. You'll like it. It's really good, man. Ooh. Hey man, I am still burping up chili. <laughs> I don't know if I even wanna <laughs> I'm still burping up the chili. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna you can have that one it's or not. Good, I, right? This is really good. I this, this I is one so. so far this is one I'd be ordering. Yeah. Oh, guys, that's really good. You know, I didn't see any like take-home package area up there. Growlers. And, and I, oh, it's growlers. growlers. Everything. Okay. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're it's it's growlers. Okay. Their their prices are good. This was eight bucks. Oh shit! Yeah, man. Eight dollar. Eight dollars. And they have a happy hour where they sell uh, the twenty ounce pints for like five bucks. Which is uh, which they're in right now, so um, definitely not just a just a just a craft brew house. You know, this is no. this is a restaurant. Yeah, it's a restaurant it's and, beer. And, and a full bar, right? Full I mean, bar. is it a full bar? Full too? bar. Yeah. yeah. So it's um, they got great beers. So I mean, I'm very impressed. All right, this is a West Coast IPA again. Some places don't serve a West Coast. No. This, my friends, is not hazy. This is a West Coast IPA. What's the, what's the? 54, 7.7 .7 alcohol though. So that's their highest alcohol when they have. Mm. Oh yeah. Look at that glass. They do a good job here, oh, man. Oh my God, that's a good IPA. I can see why they've been around since '94. If if you if if you were to say, ask me how many IPUs this has, I would never say 55. Really? I would say, say higher in the 70s, no, sure. 80s. And this 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 is bitter. This is bitter. God 
dang it, that's... There's a difference between West Coast IPAs, man. This is so good. Yeah. Oh, my God. I know, you're not even going And like some it. of them just call them uh, Americans, man, but they're, there's a difference. I think, yeah, I... What is the what is the big St. Louis one? Shaf sh oh. or it's bitter for you, isn't it? It's bitter, but man, that is. Oh, he's you know something else that because they you can taste the hops really. The girl, the there. the the wait staff, the new new wait staff person came in here or a bar bartender, and she was showing a new person how to clean glasses. And uh, I I used to work for for Coors and. And it was it, it was exactly the same way where same they've got process. the three tubs. Yeah, she's got the three tubs, and and I mean, so you know, and this this is beer clean glasses. Yeah. So this place, there's nothing worse than getting a beer smelling like like chlorine or or, uh, bleach, or bleach or something or, like yeah. that. Yeah. So right away when I was waiting for this flight to come, and she was showing the new person how to clean glasses, I thought, yes, sir, man. Love it. This is so good. I'm I'm really, really falling in love with Columbia. Oh my God, God, that's good. Chili. I'm terrible. I don't know if I should even I mean Oh, it's smells like a pepper. That That's the chilliest chili pepper beer I've ever had. Do you feel it after you swallow it just kinda heats up on you, but it's why? Why would you get this? Oh, it's good, man. I mean, I I have no. <laughs> yeah. Why in the world would you order that beer? You're because, you're, you're because, done for the night. I mean, I'm that telling flavor you, flavor is awesome. Oh, it's terrible, guys. It's I mean, not. no, it's it's <laughs> hot. It's it, well, it's like biting into a pepper. I mean, so it's really good. I'm, but I'm just saying, when do you drink that beer? Right now. <laughs> I could see it. And like if I had some chips right here with me, man, oh my God. It would be I so I still good. feel it going down into my... You'll, you'll burp it a few times. <laughs> no, this is really good, you guys. Back to this IPA, which is just, just incredible. Flat Ranch. Didn't even know that was the name of a river. Didn't know it went through Columbia. More of a stream. I guess. <laughs> but then again, if you're from Lawrence or been ever seen the Kansas River going through Lawrence, I mean, that's not a river either. So, yeah. uh, but hey, guys, um, it's our first stop in Columbia. Yeah, uh, we stopped it. Like I told you, that other famous little spot. Um, uh, a shout out to the people that uh, from Lawrence that told me you got to try Shakespeare's pizza. They say that's the very best. And from what we've seen and heard, it's, it's on the supposed list to be for too, tonight. So I guess we got to end the day with uh, Shakespeare's, but we still got more stops to make in Columbia, Missouri. So far, number one is a dandy. That's right.